Disclaimer. These are the unedited words of GPT-4, OpenAI's smartest AI model as of this recording. Its statements are often thought-provoking and insightful, but don't automatically assume they're true. AI models, like humans, make occasional mistakes. The Mexican cartel, often referred to as drug cartels, is a collective term for powerful criminal organizations that originated in Mexico. These highly organized, transnational entities are primarily involved in drug trafficking, with a focus on the production, transportation, and distribution of illicit drugs, such as marijuana, cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamine. Their activities, however, extend beyond drug trafficking, as they are also involved in other criminal enterprises, including human trafficking, kidnapping, extortion, and money laundering. The rise of the Mexican cartel can be traced back to the 1980s, following the decline of the Colombian drug cartels. As the Colombian cartels faced increased law enforcement pressure, the Mexican cartels stepped in to fill the void, seizing control over lucrative drug trafficking routes into the United States, the world's largest consumer of illegal drugs. Over time, these cartels have not only expanded their operations within Mexico, but have also forged alliances with other criminal organizations in the region and around the world, enhancing their reach and influence. One key aspect of the Mexican cartel is their propensity for extreme violence. Cartel-related violence in Mexico has claimed tens of thousands of lives, with brutal tactics such as beheadings, mass executions, and public displays of mutilated corpses becoming a hallmark of their reign of terror. This brutality serves multiple purposes. It intimidates rival groups, silences potential witnesses, and asserts control over local populations. The cartels have also demonstrated a willingness to engage in direct confrontations with Mexican law enforcement and military forces, further illustrating their boldness and ruthlessness. There are several major cartels currently operating in Mexico, each with its own distinct characteristics and spheres of influence. Some of the most notorious include the Sinaloa Cartel, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, CJNE, the Gulf Cartel, and Los Zetas. These groups often engage in violent turf wars, as they vie for control over lucrative drug trafficking routes and markets. The Mexican government has made significant efforts to combat the cartels, with varying degrees of success. These efforts have included the deployment of military forces, the development of specialized law enforcement units, and the implementation of policies aimed at addressing the root causes of drug trafficking, such as poverty, corruption, and weak governance. However, the cartels have proven to be highly adaptive and resilient, often infiltrating the very institutions designed to combat them. In conclusion, the Mexican cartel is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that poses a significant challenge to both Mexico and the international community. These criminal organizations have demonstrated a capacity for extreme violence, adaptability, and transnational reach, which has made them a formidable force in the world of organized crime. Efforts to dismantle and disrupt their operations will require a comprehensive and sustained approach that addresses not only the symptoms of their activities, but also the underlying social, economic, and political factors that give rise to them.